This is going to be a weird comparison, but I'm going to roll with it. It's uh, sort of similar in uh, when I'm uh, when I'm playing um, mobile rhythm games. When I'm playing either uh, Cinderella Girls or Bang Dream, they uh, they move at very different speeds, even on <coughs> the, even on the same difficulties. And uh, one is a lot more con uh, visually concise to look at, and the other one is a hell of a lot more chaotic. So, so it's yeah. uh, so if you try to play one of them and then try to play the other one within ten or within ten to thirty minutes, it takes some visual adjusting. How are you doing these to days? go from something that basically oh, to give some point of comparison, so one uh, one that looks like the Miku games versus one that looks like Guitar Hero visually. Everyone's looking hmm. for suits or support. Oh yeah, so uh, man Jin here, my friend. he's a character. Jin was started off as like an obvious Deadpool reference, but he becomes like season four helps him become so much of a better character that it's actually really it's really nice. And this goddamn scene, this this cold open episode of him for the first five minutes, is like I knew it was one of the villains. I was just like, wait, that can't be two fit. It, that can't be twice, is it? <laughs> You're right either way. Don't speak whenever you want. Yeah, it's uh, I think this might actually be one of the might still be one of the best scenes in the whole show. His more, introduction and then running into overhaul. I need to bind my yeah, because because it's, it's not even just about him. It's also showing how society has failed has failed anyone that doesn't have the most the highest upstanding morals in general. Oh yeah, it's also a nice little subliminal touch to how society deals with those who have mental problems, as in they don't. Exactly. Ah, that's Japan boy. for you. Japan, at least someone has a little better than us, but actually yeah. no. They, uh, Japan looks down on mental illness more than America does, and I am not kidding. Oh. They, they are they opt to either they they uh, they don't necessarily openly ridicule you in the same way that someone would in America would just call someone a retard. They're like we're going we're going to bully you, who and uh, the staff or government or your teachers are just going to ignore it because either they don't care or they don't have the resources to deal with it. That's um, a great example of that is actually in uh, Silent Voice, where the teacher does nothing when all the kids are bullying. I'm forgetting her name, and they keep destroying uh, her hearing aid until like the fourth pair, because they're like $150 per set, and the mom couldn't deal with that anymore, so they had to finally punish the children. But he was doing nothing to stop them until the mother actually stepped in. So what you're saying is the suicide force is a is a yes. is a result of our society and it's our own fault. Yes. Yeah. You. Yeah. We've been down to this talk about the workforce in Japan before, and uh, that probably does not help feed into it very well. No. The League of Villains. Oh, I can tell you off pilot that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. New comrades. <laughs> I can generally tell how much you're off piloting something based on how much you're just repeatedly pr pressing the same button. Bastards. That if I'm that if I'm actually uh, have something to say. Yeah. Here's a story. I used to be one of. I also didn't do his supers at all. I don't think. Nope. I, no way, we do get used twice more later on, so there'll be opportunities. I never did learn his one funny uh, loop. You get another combo. chance right now. Do I? The sub event. I guess so. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, twice does have like one really funny loop uh, that you can do. I don't know how to do it offhand, but it's really neat. This is a stupid. Oh yeah. Shall we begin? I, I get this. All oh, right, we switched orders uh, from a four. Because I watched three videos in a row and just and did one fight and one uh, main uh, fight. Excuse me. I, I think also last time you you last off. <laughs> My quirk is called twice. It's a simple power that turns one thing into two. Also, you're set on quick, so just be aware of that. Oh, uh, that's fine. As long as I'm on, man on manual, that's all I really need. Yep. I closed it everything I wanted. That is until so this is kind of terrifying. Yeah, this is like this also leads to some really deep philosophical shit that would actually like this is some existentialism right here. I really like this show when it goes in existential because it's some really deep hitting uh, themes. Schrodinger is twice. Am I even real? Yeah. <laughs> Let's okay, talk let's. This through first. Does Bob have a mirror how to play? I, get to make my I have one really simple combo with him. 
Uh, might be off of... Let's see, super easy combo is just this in the circle. Yeah, uh, quirk two. That's a, that's an easy one. Uh, he also has... That's that. I think he could probably dash cancel that if I'm not mistaken. Probably. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's mirrorless. So that, that attack funny. So that was like three melee attacks, uh, quirk one, and then uh, run up to that and go and go for uh, quirk two. <laughs> it's not really too complicated. I did a really bad job explaining it just now, but it's not too bad. Also, he is he is really fun. Twice is a fun ass character in both of, both the story and actual gameplay because he he's very much like just fucking Spider Man. Yes. Which is even funnier considering the fact that Deadpool is like a kind of a parody of Spider Man to a degree. Yeah. Hey, it's only natural. We already have Venom in this game. True. I want to dash cancel this uh, a little bit. Let's see if this works. Uh, they they no. dodged. So denied up. Oh, or not. I really, again, really big credit to this game for including, like, a uh, uh, white uh, outline for characters when they're uh, getting up off the ground, so it shows, like, how invisible they are during the, the entire process. So that way you can actually time your shit. It's really nice. <laughs> There's really good, uh, cool Twice players out there. Uh, they could probably show you way more cool stuff than I could with the character right now, especially since I was all out of practice of the game, but yeah. In the end, the copies killed each other and disappeared. And here's the kicker. Since then, I haven't His clone. Hey, Bailey. The clones have to take physical damage in order to go back to. There's no place. So he. he in order to disappear. He cloned himself into ten different people. Uh, they all That's fire each other, and then he was the last one, and now he's questioning if he's even the, the original real one. Which, you know, is easily... Because every, because every clone is fully sentient. They're not, they're not like shadow clones. Yep, they are, and they have to be damaged to disappear. However, that does kind of, like, beg the question, like, well, you can always tell if you're real, because if you take, if you get hit enough times, like, you'll disappear, or if you get hit badly enough. So, like, you could prove it that way, but that does kind of still, like, raise that lingering question that you're just not sure. And that's, that's am I spooky. being at the at the same time? Am I be, be oh, am I am I being hit hard enough to to dissolve? What if they're just not hitting me hard enough and I don't know? <laughs> yeah, th again, this this is the whole philosophical shit stain. Or uh, yeah, shit stain that is um, trying to question if you're real or not. <laughs> think for me. Don't think about it too hard. Just don't just don't look in the mirror for too long. This yeah. My destiny. This is uh, this is general advice for you guys too. Guys <laughs> don't don't the question these things too much because no. you'll just cost yourself. Now some things. people <laughs> who say there are many possible futures, but I'd feel better if there was uh, only one. He's about to run into someone. Damn, he's talking about many possible futures now. He's still on the philosophical uh, hype train. So then this happens, and it just so happens that uh, there's a certain man in a little uh, doctor's mask, play doctor mask, goes nearby. Jar! Oh no! Someone's coming toward me at three times the speed of a mobile suit. You're both infected. <laughs> Sorry, that was not my. You're both infected. So this man. <laughs> first of all, again, I'll just like to give a quick shout out to uh, uh, Kellen Joff, the guy who vo Kellen Goff. Kellen Goff. Kellen Goff. Okay, the guy who does the voice for Overhaul and also the voice for Jablo and Jojo Part Five. The Kid's younger than I am, but he's voicing a character that's like twice my age. That's terrifying. The kid, is, the kid is like 23. He's 22, I think. or probably 23 by now. Anyway, so Mills too. He's only like 25. I do know a few things still about Kai. I've put quite a bit of time into him in, in the mission mode, which is still not hard to complete yet because fuck that noise. Don't bother. Maybe if I want to get the platinum trophy that badly. There are easier platinums. Boy, is there! How many uh, platinums on PS4 do you have? I have exactly two. On my original account, I used to have like 15. On PS4 specifically. Oh, PS4, uh, like one. Ah, maybe. Oh no, I do have only one. Star Wars. I got Star Wars the other day. Right. <laughs> the only two for me on PS4. I have like five on PS4. Wow, I got perfect with Kai. I have to. Good start. <laughs> The only two on PS4 that I know that I have for sure 
is Pirate Warriors 4 and uh, Senron Kagura, Estebal Versus. And I know I have that because in order to cheat the Platinum, I actually had to delete a patch. Okay. One of the trophies is do all of X thing in the game, and it counts and it counts things like DLC or things that were added in patches. So if they're not there and you've just done everything else that already exists, it gives you the trophy by default by, delete, by deleting the patch. We got the money. I love Let's bullshit like that. Any heroes get here. Anyway, overhaul is terrifying. <laughs> They're all sick. Every last one of them. So this is the little teaser scene of overhaul that you got at the end of season three before I started watching season four. And Diseased, boy, nope. rotten to the core. You you need a, you, uh, you need oh. to be looking at the bigger picture. Pull it out by the roots. Overhaul is a fucking great villain. Like. <laughs> Even from just like this opening scene with him, uh, just uh, watching the fire of everyone just kill in front of him or revive them, I could just tell that I was in for a hell of a fun time with Overhaul. And boy, he d he does an excellent cowtowing of just somewhere between good guy and bad guy because he wants a separate rotten system. And he's not inherently evil, but he's a cunt, so you kind of know he is one. In our world, one theory proposes they the byproduct. Ah, yes, this one. Undiscovered virus that he has a plan, but it, but he never really thinks it out no all the way. Doesn't really account for every single contingency. Yeah, what if there is someone that is actually stronger than me? And it's and it's the damnedest thing too, because you think if any of the villains you've seen so far would do that, it would have been him. My husband's dead. To his credit, Overhaul's quirk is really, really fucking powerful, and I don't think he was accounting for actually encountering uh, heroes this early on. Ah, Airy. Oh boy, we're going on that tr train early. I think we already kind of, uh, I hope, I think. We've described Airy about four times now, but you know what? Screw it. Ah, uh, boy. Her, turn her dad into a, a sperm if he was lucky. Uh, essentially, if he was lucky, yeah. Turned into nothing but, uh, turning to, into nothing but a puddle on the chair he was sitting in. This yeah, a um, kid who has never really been allowed outside has been has been forced to do all of Chisaki's crazy experiments and has been killed numerous times, revived numerous times, and you endure unending pain unimaginable to most humans, and so on. Um, yeah, she's uh, yeah, she hasn't gone through some fun times. Needless to say, and that's putting it extremely lightly. And she's somehow even more adorable now. <laughs> Boy. Oh god. Smile. Protect. Please. Also dub voice. Even better. Dub voice. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, that was a bit of a swerve. <laughs> you know... They're... they're I, I'm not, I, understand. I don't like... Poor the, Grandpa never stood a chance. He never did. He didn't know what he was getting himself really into. Not to mess around with I don't like to be one of those guys who compare subs and dubs because it's like, it's pretty much comparing apples and oranges streets. in some regards because of nuances to each individual, like, like nation that it comes from. I like to think of it as comparing apples to pineapples. Yeah. They are in no way remotely the same thing, or even close. Yeah, you can't compare the quality of because it's two entirely different things. Like, holy shit. Apples and lettuce, pretty much. <laughs> but I can, I know for a fucking damn fact that, despite Funimation's sometimes spotty track record with dogs, they're generally really good, but sometimes there can be some sneakers. This one came out extre extremely well, even better how it was simul dubbed. I'm coming to the realization recently, especially, that the ones that get the spotty ones are uh, the slice of life, all cute girl shows. But that's yep. because that's because they can just Dragon Maid. Eh. It's because they can just stick all of their all of their uh, new young actresses that are like eighteen to twenty five on there and be like call it a day, call it a day. Yeah. They're like, hey, do you want a paycheck? Yeah, sure. Well, we, we can bump their resume like that. Well, we have this show here that might, may or may not be violently sexist and is definitely very much a lot of booby stuff, but do you want a paycheck? Yeah, sure, why not? I know, Funimation in the early 2010s. Sidetrack side that thought for a moment. Currently, uh, uh, Overhaul is in the process of recruiting Rappa, which is amazing because it's in, a, it's in that MMA ring we mentioned before. Or he just kills Rapa five times and he gives up. Okay, you may proceed. <laughs> it was like for four fucking years straight. Funimation, I like them overall, but they do some pretty stupid things. Like how for three or four years straight, 80% of everything they licensed was, ju uh, was just etchy garbage. Yep. And when they weren't doing that, they were recording something 
they were uh, recording shows and then holding that onto them for two years before they actually released them on home video. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I have reason yeah. to believe that uh, they recorded the third season of Sengoku Basura the year it aired, but didn't release it until two until two and a half years afterwards, and I have no idea why. Uh, backlog. You know, I wonder if they're short after or something. Ooh, you can probably go for level two. Oh, wait, for now, I'll just do what actually works. Right. Uh, Chichiki's level two activation window is kind of weird. You have to, it's kind of like uh, a, a slight delay timer. So you gotta, like, plan it out in advance. Also, Rafa apparently got buffed. I heard. Yeah, uh, I think. That's good. No, uh, he, no, he stayed the same. People just realized that he wasn't as garbage as people thought. He's not C or D tier like people thought. He's B tier. He has some tools, but he, he's pretty much so much like Zangief without the green hand of Street Fighter Five. Oh God, why did they take away Street uh, Zangief's green hand? That was like the way he dealt with projectiles. And now he can't deal with projectiles. Ugh. Why does Street Fighter Five take everything away from everyone? Why is your fire five still going? Anyway, development, continuing. Uh, let's see. I uh, think I was actually good. Oh yeah, I try not to love my, my nostalgia bias for uh, old, old school fun, uh, Funimation dub Dragon Ball Z to look, uh, get, get the better of me. I try not to look at a company with a uh, constantly objective viewpoint and uh... This, despite them he not caught me midair. Despite them not being saved as asshole like some people on the <laughs> like to say, would like to claim the quartering. Uh they do still make some pretty big mistakes every once in a while. I like to think that one of them was that little limited edition dragon box set. <laughs> oh because that's the five set I should say something. Oh. <sighs> Again, always a key thing about fighting games, you you wanna Try to be ma maximizing your result against your opponent in any situation you can. One of them being, if you can size up out of an attack, you generally want to. It'll save you guard gauge, as well as get you a clean punch on your opponent. That should it work? Yeah. Oh, nice. Jab into it, man. <laughs> that won't kill, but it'll be pretty damn close. No, but it needs, but it needs some sort of uh, averager. Yeah. Well, equalizer, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Whoa, oh boy. Don't touch me. If this is the worst of it and it doesn't get much worse than that, then that's perfectly acceptable. That's not even that bad. Like, we, I've seen it get worse with, like, oh god, Shigaraki's team attack. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Boy, oh boy. Anyway, actually, you should tilt quirk one. Now, that's a really good zoning tool. <laughs> there we go. So, I've said it before, I like to think I've gotten somewhat decent in that, uh, uh Chisiki. Um, if I were to play online, I would definitely use him extensively. <laughs> I originally picked him up because, hey, he's a pretty aggressive zoning character, and he's voiced by Kaiba, so I thought that was the coolest shit. Oh, no. oh my god, did you see the resolution just shift? Yeah. Whoa. And it's, it's still, still going. doing it. 